I thought this was supposed to be about stocks. Where? What's up, people? There's only one way to experience what happened today. Uh, you know, I looked down, I thought the market was up a couple of hundred points. I thought the NASDAQ had to be up at least 20 or 30 points because every stock that we're trading today is having a, a monumental day. Might not be the hugest day, but every single one of our stocks is in play today. FSLR, thank you for holding on to that with me. Never gave up on the stock. Had the $26 calls, got some $27 calls, still got the stock. But the list of winners has been an extraordinary one. APKT, which we bought yesterday and held on till to today. FTNT, which we got out of. Z, which we got out of. Nuance, which we're still in right now, closing at the highs of the day. Tzu, we just added this here at 1790. Uh, but by the end of the day, it's 349 right now, closing every single one of our positions, except maybe this Tzu, but we were looking for this thing to get from 1790 to, to 1850. It's creeping along right now. Probably going to get out of this also. I still think trading is the way to go. Less positions you have overnight, the better. And again, anytime I'm holding a position, it's maybe a couple of hundred shares at most, just to remind me that I like the stock the next day. But again, we're keeping the room open for the next three or four days. And if you haven't been there yet, whether your first experience was a bad one, come on back because, I mean, listen, guys, if this was something that I found that I just found out about, there's no place I'd rather be than hanging out with the crew guys that I've found. We got about 35 to 40 members that, you know, come in collectively. There's generally 17, 25 people hanging out in there and we're just killing it, throwing good ideas. I mean, I didn't like Best Buy the other day, but they convinced me to get involved in Best Buy. Next thing you know, the stock's exploding today. Just lots of good stuff going on. Um, and the only way to really, truly appreciate what's going on, all right, I just sold the t 1825. Not gonna hold that overnight. So the list was great, and we're right back down to what we started with. Uh, we're out of everything. So APKT gone, that was a really nice trade. Uh, FTNT gone, Nuance, we're probably going to get rid of that, WPRT was really nice, Zolt, we had the Z, we even had uh, Taser, and if you guys were new to this, I've been long Taser for about, I don't know, seven months, eight months, had it from $5.50, $6, we were waiting for that $7.50 break, we're, hold, we're hanging on for this idea that it could get to 10 bucks. but now you might as well take something off the table, it hit 9 Let's call it a trade. And if it pulls back, I'm looking at the March $10 calls. If I can get them for 15 or 20 cents, I'll probably get back involved in that. But this is the greatest stock market I've ever seen in a long, long time. The trading is great. Breakouts are working. Breakdowns are working. Supports are holding. Resistance is staying firm. Everything's working as long as you obey the charts and you just don't panic out like I do on some of my trades. A lot of times, if I'll anticipate a stock going down before it goes down, where in this market, you really have to wait till it gets to that crucial point. Take that extra four or five cent of risk. I have very tight stops. I have very low risk tolerance on my intraday trades. As soon as something doesn't go my way, I'm ready to punch out of it. That's just the way I do it. So back to where we are. We got FSLR, we got TSLA, which is Tesla. We still own SLV, and that's it. We're not long or short the queues. We don't have any Google or Apple. Nothing to be worried about, and this market has just been really, really great. Nice consolidation day again off that monster move, off those lows from last Friday. So congratulations if you're still in this FSLR. Hopefully we get that follow through that we look for tomorrow. Break this 27.25, I think the stock can get to $33. I'm holding on to it till the end of the year. I think another short squeeze is imminent in this stock. And maybe there's a takeover rumor going around. But again, there's a takeover rumor on every stock and then it goes away. I'm not concerned about rumors right now. I'm just trading what I'm looking at. And it's been a really, really nice couple of days. All right, guys. Um, I appreciate everybody out there. And if you haven't stopped by the room again, this is it. This is the time. If you ever want to know what goes on behind the scenes, other than me yelling and barking and cursing and screaming and making funny videos or trying to be funny or whatever the case, this is the moment. If you're going to ever experience what we do behind the scenes, come now. 
this is the time. It's open, there's no password. You can come in, hang out for four or five days. I'm shutting it down probably next week. We're gonna have one more free session somewhere in the middle of December and that's it. January is gonna come along and again, it's gonna be only members only. And remember guys, treat it like an open bar because that's what it is. You pay one price, you get in, but the recommendations never stop. And then we have guests come on the show and they'll talk about a couple of different things that they like. You got to be involved. If you're out there trading and you're doing it by yourself, if you're sitting around in your underwear and you're at home, you want some guys to hang out with, that kind of sounds weird and creepy, but you want to be trading with other people, why don't you come and hang out with us? All right, guys. I appreciate everybody that's been coming to the room. We're growing every day. It's a lot of fun. Let's keep it going. Remember, don't take it too seriously. Try to have some fun with it. All right. See you soon.